Welcome my friends, we're talking about Town Hall 8 war attacks using hogs. You can take down a Town Hall 9, yes, Town Hall 8 base, and look, I do not have maxed hogs, and I only have a level 5 um, Barbarian King as well. Level 2 hogs taking down this base. Yes, maybe not the best design, but hey, my friends, my friends, beautiful stuff. Now, what I like to do on these attacks, I like to bring minions and some wizards and archers to clear out the um, uh, the clan castle. Now, guess what I did here? I put the hogs, I'm going to pause it, I put the clan castle hogs first on purpose. You always want to get those down immediately, and I put the heal spell down because there was a bomb tower then. But you notice, look how I'm trickling in my hogs. I'm doing it systematically, and I put the king on the enemy king side as well, just to help out the hogs a bit, and then the final heal spell I put on the wizard tower. Again, what you want to do, you don't want to spam in all your hogs. Usually it's better to spread them out because giant bombs don't have as much damage, of course, and they just do a better job. Spread it out and put the heal spells on Tessa Farms, Wizard Towers, and you'll crush every single base. Yes, this is a Town Hall 9. Well, it's it's a he's an engineer. He, he's not defensively Town Hall 9, but again, crush this one out the wazoo. Now, if you want, you can bring maybe a little more cleanup. I could have saved a wizard or two for cleanup, but I had all the main there and I had a couple wizards on the outside uh, so that is how it gets done now there is a trick there, there's a reason you know I, I lured the CC at 12 o'clock and that's where I put my hogs I did that on purpose so that means the, the the troops left over from when I killed the clan castle they would stay alive does that make sense Give it a go. It will go well for you, my friend. We are back with another Town Hall 8 attack using hogs. Now, on this one, what is my game plan? I'm going to break it down. So, going to lure the CC. Easy stuff. It's right on the outside. And then I'm going to put the king down over here. And then he's going to tank for the hogs. And I'm going to trinkle in some hogs at the cannon here. Going to bring in some at the wizard tower. And I'm going to make sure I bring in some more here. And depending where they go, I will put the heal spells down. I'm going to put a minion on the bomb tower. I'll take that out and then bring in hogs up at 12. Uh, and then I'm going to use the two giants, my friends, are for tanking for the wizard towers, the mortars, and the archers, then hogs behind. And then heal spells when necessary with cleanup. And this base should be dominated, even though I don't even have a max town hall, well, maxed out troops uh, or king or any of that jazz. So gonna lure it out again you can take your time with the lure you have plenty of time when it comes to this and what i like to do i like to use archer archers minions and some wizards kind of a mixture of troops and probably i probably used too many up here and definitely lost some of the cleanup uh but you know whatever it got the job done bada bing bada boom here comes the minion look at that you're gonna take out the bomb tower probably could have put two up there but there's the king tessa popped gonna bring in some more hogs and hogs up on the north end and look as they come into the base looking very nicely now i do actually decide to put a heal spell up here because i realized there's a wizard tower and the bomb tower is hurting in the back end hogs look at that look at the beauty okay here's the giant then the hogs behind oh my goodness giant bomb out that hurt gotta put the heal spell down again look at this crushed domination in fact obliteration my friends obliteration of course at during this time you want to always put down your cleanup troops so as things are slowing down in the attack i did put a heal spell down and the reason i did uh well it's a good thing i did because there were two double giant bombs there and that could have caused serious problems for the hogs if i didn't have the heal spell that's why you're always patient with the heal try to plan for bases of course i didn't know what was there but i held off on it and it worked out in the end and there you go now you can actually save a little more hogs for the back for, for cleanup i didn't because time i knew wasn't going to be an issue on this one if some if say you're hitting the town hall eight and the lure takes a little longer you have to lure it and then kill the cc takes a little longer maybe save some back end hogs but again crushed dominated and wiped clean this is little ochre head yes indeed from clan as bears showing i o showing you how it's done for another six pack in this war you can never go wrong with the hog attack i just straight hog it 30 hogs mass 35 hogs in fact with the cc hogs here's the lure this base you're like thinking oh is this going to be a tricky base no now i'd actually put these um hogs down here i only needed two i messed up i wanted to put take the archer out um but 
so I lost one extra hog than more than I should have. But I put I killed the archer tower because when I brought in my uh, cleanup troops over here or my kill killing the CC troops, I needed um, to use um, I need that archer tower down if that makes sense. I actually lost quite a bit of my um, troops for the cleanup or for the kill of the CC, but I had plenty left indeed, and I still got quite a few cleanup troops. Now, only put three hogs here on purpose on the bomb tower because there's that bomb afterwards, and look, put the king down to tank. He's tanking for all these troops, and then I just sprinkle in my hogs. Look at this, guys. Sprinkle in the hogs, and I'm going to put a heal spell down up by the Tesla here. I knew that was going to be a danger section. And honestly, what I should have done is probably saved a few more of the hogs for cleanup. Uh, but I was just like, let's just mass this. Let's just mass this base. This base is so pathetic, so terrible that I just want to cream it. Uh, and again, I'm not swagging anything. I'm just going to show. I love showing the domination of the hogs, just a total destruction of these suckers. Uh, but it's a beautiful attack indeed. You can't go wrong. Usually, I run about 29 to 30 hogs. And it works on many, many, most bases, every base. And if you have max hogs for Town Hall 8, you would even do more domination, plus with a max king, even if it's a harder base, the strategy still works. Now, some people do throw a golem in there. Maybe I'll show that in the future. You could use that if you need to um, do a, a push. But again, the reason why I probably should have saved some of the hogs, you see all this cleanup over here? Yeah, I needed some hogs there. Uh, but I still had plenty of time. I think I had 40 seconds left uh, in the raid. So again, these Town Hall 8s can go down very, very quickly in three minutes. So time is really never a factor that I've found using the hog strategy. But there you go. Some Town Hall 8 action. War tax. Three stars. Get out there. Dominate. You will dominate for sure, my friends. Without a doubt, you will dominate. And did they three-star my base? No, they did not. Oh, man, I am definitely going to make a base, a video on my base, so check out that. Please subscribe for more. And as always, Halo.